Senate's short legislative session is set to begin the first week of February, but House Republicans have already launched efforts to reform Measure 110. Because if you can walk around using drugs, open air is, is not acceptable. You, you have to have accountability with that, and I don't think people realize that. House Republican leader Jeff Helfrich and five other lawmakers have drafted this bill, which would essentially end Measure 110. We need to have accountability in the criminal justice system. The bill would reclassify possession of any illicit drug as a class A misdemeanor, even small amounts. We are asking for an A misdemeanor because that gives you up to a year in jail and have the ability to get people forced that treatment if needed. But the bill would also mandate drug treatment for some offenders in order to avoid jail time. The proposal suggests lottery bonds would fund the treatment centers that would need to be established county by county to handle the influx of drug users. That's the next phase of our uh, conversations. Is what's it, what is it going to take? What facilities are already out there? And, then, and, and look at that as a holistic approach for the state. While many agree with Helfrich. Yes, we have a crisis on our hands. Not everyone thinks ending Measure 110 is the way to solve it. Morgan Godvin is a substance use researcher working with the ACLU of Oregon. There is no evidence anywhere in this country that incarceration or the threat of incarceration reduces rates of addiction. How about we focus on expanding the treatment resources that we have now or making our behavioral health system work better Despite some desire to hold on, many Democratic leaders are still feeling the pressure to reform the measure. The Joint Interim Committee on Addiction says they're trying to find ways to improve the law, but it's still unclear what those changes might be, even to Representative Helfrich. No, they, we have not seen, well, here's a framework, here's this.